So I've had a lot of people ask me about setting goals in winter and trying to change your life in the winter. And my answer to that is that I personally don't believe that healing your body should be a goal. So that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be something that you're investing in, but a goal is something that you pour your vitality, your health, your vibrancy, your creativity into. So that creates that pursuit. That's something that your brain and nervous system can latch onto to go and find a way to make that successful. So when you're putting a goal to heal, even though it sounds beautiful and true and would seem like it fits perfectly even in this space for me, um, to me, it's just, again, kind of redundant. It would be similar to saying that one of your goals is to be able to heal a cut this year with a scab. And it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just not a productive thing. And so when you're setting goals, your goal should be these great things that are going to draw and pull from your vibrancy, pull from your vitality, pull from your creativity and your aliveness. It's not something that you have to go get when it comes to your health. It's not going to be something that you buy. So your ability and capacity to dedicate to what is required to facilitate the vitality and the vibrancy in your physical body that you desire, that's something. Um, but again, I don't think that it's a goal. I think we've gotten really upside down in how the body actually works and where a human being could use their faculties to actually experience life and give to life and create within life in a way that gives back not only to the individual, but to the world and their communities. And so we're a little bit upside down and you know, the more we get this information out there, the more this will make sense and understand because it's really flipping everything upside down. And when you say that the body only knows healing, which is a the truth, then to say that then your goal is to heal is still missing, right? Those two things don't necessarily line up. And so I would encourage you that if you are somebody who has a lot going on in your body, has been given a diagnosis, um, is experiencing a lot of symptoms, I would say that you need to commit to living in a way that facilitates the outcome that you desire. And part of that will be to set goals that deserve your time, your attention, your passion, your heart, your creativity, your voice, um, your presence. And that's going to feed back into some of those factors that brings vitality back into the body. But to, to set your only goal as healing the body it, it just doesn't make sense. The body is going to do what the body does and it will always be a reflection of the life that you're living. So if you need to commit to changing your life, I would say there is no season that that does not apply. Every season you should be committed to living in a way that produces the outcome that you desire. You are the cause to every effect in your physical body and there are no exceptions to that. And so you have to live according to how the body, you know, works in this physical world that you're in and if you're not if you you know what i call break the rules you are going to have repercussions to that just like if you stayed out in the sun too long and your skin wasn't prepared to have that level of input there will be repercussions to that action that does not mean that the body is wrong does not mean that the sun is wrong does not mean that you were wrong just meant a rule was broken and so that's again how the whole entire body works and so when you're in this season of goal setting i would say make sure your goals um, make sense and then make sure they're worth your life because those are going to be again a major factor to pouring back into a life worth living why are you healing your body why are you wanting your body to heal to completion to be the strongest to be the most vital to be the most vibrant to be the most creative to be the most expressed the most loving uh, the most outspoken version of you why what are you going to do with that those should be your goal your life should be the commitment to creating the foundation, creating the fuel to go and have the capacity and the endurance and the vitality to go and pursue those things. And that's going to feed back into this mechanism in a very beautiful, vibrant way. So I just want to put that out here. Maybe rethink that a little bit differently um, and know what's already working for you. Work along with it instead of working against it. Dedicate all year long. There should be no day 
where you're not dedicated and committed to what is true and to understanding that you govern many, if not all, of the effects that you are experiencing in your life. And then to have something totally outside of that, right? That is your passion, your creativity, your uniqueness, your like, this is my one shot to be a human. And these are the places that I'm, you know, interested and, you know, passionate and just maybe just excited and joyful about. So it's, it's definitely a different way to look at it. Just again, with some of these things are so close to being, you know, what everyone else is saying, but it's not. If you really listen to what's being said, it's not the same. And when you live this way, you understand, you, you taste the flavor of it and you'll experience the words in a much different way.